if you are looking for some of the best plug and play tactics for FM23, you have come to the right place. Whether you're just short of time or you fancy a complete overhaul of your tactical systems, on this channel I will be testing the tactics so you don't have to. Today I'm going to be looking at an attacking 433 made by GYR. In today's tactic testing video, we are going to be looking at the GYR Black Panther FM23. GYR being one of the good guys in the community, building a lot of different tactical shapes and giving them out to the community for us to test. And it also means that if you're looking for a plug and play tactic, when you see GYR on that tactic, you know it's going to be a good tactic. Let's break this one down then. We're going to start off at the back. It's a sweeper keeper set to attack. On the left you have a wing back on support. You have two ball playing defenders set to defend. And on the right hand side you have an inverted wing back set to attack. You have a deep lying playmaker set to support. A roaming playmaker set to support. And a central midfielder also set to support. On the left hand side you have an inside forward set to attack. On the right hand side you have an inside forward set to attack and at the top of the pitch you have a pressing forward who is set to attack. So as I said this is GYR Black Panther FM23. The tactical style is also called GYR Black Panther. The mentality of this tactic is attacking. If we look at the in possession it looks like this. The in transition looks like this. And the out of possession will look like this. So, GYR builds popular tactics. In today's video, I'm going to be putting it through its paces with Crystal Palace, Bologna and Bilbao. Let's kick off the tactic test by looking at the Premier League and the team we are looking for is Crystal Palace. We can see that they have finished in 6th place and they have qualified for the Europa League. If we break down their 38 game campaign, they played 38. They won 19 games, they drew 8, lost 11, scoring 66, 56 conceded, they had a goal difference of 10 and they scored 65 points. Now, when you consider that's only 4 points off of Tottenham who qualified for the Champions League, that is quite an impressive season for Crystal Palace. They did finish 17 points off of Manchester City at the top of the table, but it's Manchester City. If we go to the profile page and have a little look at some stats then we can see they don't feature too heavily on the page. If we go looking we can see Edouard got 17 goals. In terms of average ratings we had Elise on 7.17 and Torik Mitchell on 7.13. Assists Elise got 11. Wilf Zaha got 6 player of the match awards. In terms of the clean sheet Sam Johnson got 11. For yellow cards, we have Mitchell on 16 and Zaha on 13. So discipline might be a bit of an issue with the tactic. In terms of distance covered per 90 minutes, Nathaniel Klein 14.88. Jeffrey Schlupp 14.58. For tackles per 90 minutes, we have Mitchell 3.68 and Zaha 3.61. So we can see what roles really are working hard with this tactic. And in dribbles per 90 minutes, we have Tyreek Mitchell 16th on 3.82 so fantastic that crystal palace managed to qualify for a european cup uh, let's go to the competitions tab and run through the rest of the competitions so in terms of the fa cup they were knocked out in the fifth round by stoke city and in the carabao cup they were the runners up they got all the way to the final unfortunately they lost to tottenham 3-1 in extra time but they did have that run to the final so we've got crystal palace starting us off with a cup run to a final and sixth place and a europa league position in the league Next up we have moved to Serie A and we are looking at Bologna. We can see that they have finished 10th and if we break down their 38 game season we can see they played 38, they won 17, they drew 6, they lost 15, they scored 56 goals, conceded 43 
had a 13 goal difference and finished on 57 points. So when you look at it, Juventus there finished on 63 points. So they only actually finished six points behind a Europa Conference League qualifying position. When we look a bit further up, they finished 10 points behind Napoli and they were miles behind Inter who had won the league. If we go to the stages and have a little look at some stats, again, not featuring very heavily in here. Uh, they had Barrow getting 13 goals for the average ratings. They had Barrow on 7.16. For assists, we have Barrow finishing in 5th on 10 and Orsolini getting 7. So Barrow seems to come out of this very, very well. Player of the match awards, Barrow, 5 there too. Clean sheets for the goalkeeper. Skorupski got 12 clean sheets. In terms of discipline, not too bad. No yellow card concerns there. Distance covered per 90 minutes. They had Cassius with 14.23 kilometres covered per 90 minutes. Tackles per 90 minutes. Orsolini with 3.62 and Cambiasso with 3.32. And finally, dribbles per 90 minutes. They had Cambiasso with 4.97. So, a pretty decent campaign when you look at it on the whole considering they only finished six points behind Juventus look at the rest of the competitions in the Coppa Italia Coca-Cola Cup they only got to the second round and they were knocked out by Cagliari Calcio so not too good in the cup they did okay in the league if they would have won one or two more games they would have been challenging for a European competition The final team in the tactic tester are over in La Liga. So we have headed there and we are looking for Bilbao. We can see that they have finished sixth in the league and they have qualified for the Europa League. If we break down their 38 game season then, we can see that they have played 38. They won 20 of those games. They drew 7. Lost 11. Scored 58 goals. Only conceded 33, which is quite impressive. 25 was the goal difference and 67 points. Now, when we look above them just in the league, we can see they only finished four points behind Villarreal and Atletico. They also only finished six points behind Valencia, although once it gets past there, they were miles behind Real Madrid. If we go and look at the profile page then, we can see that they had Raul Garcia score 16 goals to be top goal scorer for them. Munayan got a 7.44 average rating. He had 17 assists across the season. He had 8 player of the match awards. Simon got 18 clean sheets. Balenciaga got 13 yellow cards and Kappa got 12. So there might be some discipline issues for Bilbao there. In terms of distance covered per 90 minutes, you had Yuri on 14.43. For tackles per 90 minutes, we have Munayan on 3.58. Nico Williams on 3.55 and Kappa on 3.47 and for the dribbles per 90 minutes they don't have anybody in that tab so fantastic season for them managing to finish in the Europa League places let's have a look at the rest of their competitions we can see that they only played in the Copa del Rey and disappointingly they got knocked out in the first round by Ponte Vedra so all in all they have had a good season for this tactic, we have had a couple of teams qualify for the Europa League. We had Bologna, who were not too far behind and with a couple of more games could have been pushing on. All in all, I think this is a decent tactic and well done to GYR for bringing it to the community. Right then, if you're still with me at this point of the video, firstly, a big thank you. Secondly, if you can hit that like and subscribe button to help the channel, I would appreciate it so, so much. Watching the growth on the channel across the past couple of months has been absolutely fantastic. I cannot thank you all enough for doing all you can to interact with the channel. Before you do go, don't forget there are other things on the channel, such as other tactic tests, including non-league tactic testing, Wonder Kids, Tips, Hints, Tutorials, there's Let's Plays and Rebuilds, a little bit of something for everybody. But for this video, I'm going to leave it there. Big thank you for watching. I'll see you on another video soon.